Hello and welcome to my supervised tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to insert data into MySQL with Cut Igniter 3. From the previous video, I have uh, make a one table. It called Bookmaster, and this is the structure: book ID, title, and the price. And if we open the structure here, the primary key would be book ID and data type integer and this is auto increment and auto increment it's actually a unique number in mysql and this is safe okay if we go back to the browser and we add the one button again and it would be insert data like this and then I would be at the link here and the insert data would be store here insert data and then I need a master view from the login area and the data array would be known and now I have to make the view here and just add new file with the insert data.php and then I need a container this is class from the bootstrap okay title and price because uh, the structure this is auto increment we don't have to insert this data because uh, the, da the data is automatically insert and now we back to the project and then would be title and required And this is a class from the bootstrap, the button button primary. It's a blue color. And now I have to ah, the login area. It I don't add the views here. Insert data. Now I have to refresh this and I need a placeholder. Okay, now we back to the browser and we have to refresh this and this looks good now I have to add the form and the form method would be post and the action would be would be known okay it would be known in the first and then we have to cut this code to here okay and because I have a uh, sample data here I have to st store this to the table and it's very very easy actually because from the login area I have uh, I have my empty data array and I have to add this with uh, data 
and books and then I have to uh, I have to add my query here select all from the bookmaster okay and I have to I have to return this value here Now we have to store this data array here. Okay, nice. And this is a for each value. This is a this is a key. Sorry. And then so we have to add this. And boom. The value value would be book and equal book. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Harry Potter one and Harry Potter two. I have to insert this to the. class would be table this is class from the bootstrap okay we go and uh, if you see that the title would be two values and maybe it will be here okay and now I have to add this to the header uh, title and uh, price and from the price we can we can add this to the price and then uh, this title we can call from the the data header here and the price is here okay and now we back to the Browser, okay. This is title and this is price. Okay, it's perfect. And I have to beautify this. Okay, here we go. And then if I insert data here, it will be stored in the bottom here under the form. Okay. And now I have to add the function for the data saving and then I will record it at data and the first parameter would be title and this is a function from the hot igniter this input post and it same with the post value from the PHP and because this is a framework it would be nice if we use this okay and the value here is the name from the form okay the name of the input form and the second one is the price okay and now we add the query here this db query and 
insert into group master and the value would be title and price and this is a this is a input value and it would be title and price okay and after we add the data we have to redirect to the legend area and insert data okay and it will be redirect here to the insert data and this is page and then we have to add the action here with uh, login area and add data okay and now we back to the browser and now we add the lot of the rings and uh, the price it would be 100 save and we successfully insert uh, data and thanks for watching i think it's enough for this tutorial see you in my next video